on here, Jude? You got a cat in your hand. Yeah. Don't tell the EPA. So ladies and gentlemen, in this video, we are going to be straight piping my M3. Got the E90 up in the air. We're making a custom X pipe. If you guys don't already know, I did a rear muffler delete. So this is going to be a full straight pipe besides the stock resonators. I made a custom X pipe. Now I filmed a TikTok making this. So if you guys don't follow me on TikTok, go follow me on TikTok. So here you guys go. I will throw some footage in of me making it right now. Just behind here, just like. Well, let me show them. All right, guys. So we're going under the car. I have this is the area where the primary cats cut out. I still need to cut this one out. And then we have our secondary cats right here. Stock X pipe. As you can see, the X pipe is all the way back here. So we are going to take this and move it up right here. And then we have our stock resonators and then a straight pipe out the back. I'm gonna get the other cat removed and then we are going to cut the flanges off, throw the flanges back on, and then fab up a section, basically a straight pipe section, then get that tacked up and in place. And then we are going to go back and take the secondary cats off. Cuts a montage of me um, doing stuff in three, two, one. Nice. I'm a trained professional. And, and what? I don't know. <laughs> figure, figure out something. I'm, I'm trained. Pro tip, guys. If you're dealing with O2 sensors and taking exhaust off and stuff like that, break your O2 sensors loose on the car before you take the exhaust off. So that way you can just unscrew them and you aren't fighting the exhaust moving around on you. Now what we can do is we are going to cut the flanges off of here. We're gonna throw the flanges back up on the car and then mock up some pipes and we're gonna get to doing pipe stuff. Good but time. what's really nice about doing this outside of the car, I have a chop saw, so it's gonna take two seconds. Flanges are cut out. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw these back up on the car. I'm gonna bolt them back to the headers and then we are going to measure the angles that I need to come down and meet the rest of the pipes. Let me show you what I got going on. So I have the flange back on the header and now I'm going to make a pipe, basically connecting that to that. And I gotta find my angle here. I actually have a bunch of pipe over there, so I'm gonna get over there and figure out what angle I need, then we're gonna get to cutting, and then we're gonna get to tacking and doing stuff. So I'm hoping that I can pretty much just cut there and then there's my angle. Um, Whoa. Ladies and gentlemen, I will put the link in the description down for this pipe. It is so much stainless pipe. And it's actually decently good stainless because it doesn't track the magnet. If you guys know, if it's stainless, it will track the magnet. This was on Amazon for $180. And it's like so much exhaust, you can make two exhausts and then have some left over. Yeah, that's just not the angle I'm gonna need. It could be if you wanted your exhaust to hang really low. Dude, dude that's a perfect angle, just cut it like up. <sighs> oh, that's straight fire! Dude, look at that. Call me, call me Cornelius Jones, dude. What? Better to take the camera and show him a little bit. You guys can see. Oh, fuck, that's perfect. It's gonna line right up. I just gotta lengthen that pipe a little bit. Big yawns from Jude. Dude, do you think I should see how it is with just the primaries removed? Or do you think I should just send it? If I'm being honest with you, yeah, I would do the primaries removed because um, there's a chance that this thing could sound just fucking stupid. Well, I don't think it'll sound bad. I think it'll sound like, like so loud. Obnoxious. Yeah. Yeah. So do you think we should just do the primaries for now and then like? Yeah, personally. Uh, so I have this pressed into place real quick. So I'm gonna go and tack this over and then we're gonna extend this pipe and then we'll be, we'll be 
good. Fire. You can just tell by welding, the stock BMW metal is so much more dense and it's so much like, it's just way stronger. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so what I'm doing is this has a flared end so you can have a slip fit. I'm just gonna cut this to somewhere that I know that I can position it. So I don't have to be absolutely exact, but it'll still fit correctly. The fabrication station. I, I protect it. I think Osho watches my videos and they're like, they're like, yo, we, we better send an OSHA operator out there right now. I think they definitely watch him and go, we gotta get this kid on a job site like now. Fucking fire? Oh, that's fire. All right, guys, here we go. Primary cat delete. We got this thing just looking good, looking good, looking good. And then we're going back to there. Beautiful. I'm so excited to hear this thing now. Dude, you got to get like a little pillow for your head. It's going to get all like mad. There you go. There you go. There you go. <sighs> now my head's stuck in a stationary position. Dude, I feel like you would play the accordion. The accordion? Yeah. Dude, that's fine. Thanks, man. I feel like the accordion is pretty, uh, would I be decent at it though? Or oh, you go, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, she goes, you want the same thing yesterday? Or as you got yesterday? I'm like, yeah, if I got head yesterday, fuck. <laughs> you really say that? No, dude, I said a large iced coffee with a light amount of cream. Um, we gotta start talking about things that I can put in the video. <laughs> Alright, ladies and gentlemen, let's go see if this still fits. I don't understand how that looks good. What looks good? The shirt is way too close to the color of the shorts, but it still looks good. It looks like a dirty sack of shit right now. Dude, I just don't have anything to say that, like, could go into the video, though. <laughs> like, not be, I... Uh, probably upsetting for somebody else in their life. Oh, that's fire, dude! Yo, this this exhaust kit on Amazon is so nice. I'm I'm throwing a link down in the description for this for you guys to go buy this because it's decent stain. Like, it's not gonna be the best, but it's $180 and you get so much. I mean there's probably some like little Chinese guy working in a factory making it and can that go in the video? That's fine because it's probably what's happening. Now now you just made me feel self-conscious and bad about the exhaust. That I'm putting on. Why? If you don't buy it, then that guy doesn't have a job. Safety first. This pipe looks good now. We got this pipe where we want it. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pretty much do the same thing. Just measure and then throw a pipe in where that pipe goes. It's gonna be a sexual video. Is it? That's just kind of what making exhaust is, though. It's a little yeah. sexual, yeah. Yeah. When I get the Marlboro wrap on this car, and it's like that loud, everybody's gonna be like, God, that dude has such a small <laughs> That's the type of chick I'd marry. All right, dude, is that fire? Yeah, it looks good. Well, one might even say that looks better than the other side. Oh, f One hour later. All right, guys, I'm back. Jude just left. He had to run to his shop real quick. He has some things to do, but we're going to be meeting up with him later when this thing is done. But so this test pipe is finished. Uh, I still have to weld it together. I just finished this test pipe, and I still have to weld it together. Everything's tacked up. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to pull them back off, completely weld them, put them back on, figure out where I need to drill my holes for the O2s, drill those, get the O2s plugged in, and then put them back on, then weld them on to the rest of the exhaust, and then we should be good. This thing should sound sick.
All right, guys, so we're going under the car. I got everything welded up. Look at those welds, guys. Oh my God, magnificent. Look at that, dude. It's freaking beautiful. So now what I'm gonna do is I am going to measure and mark for the O2 bungs, because I still have to drill out the stuff for the O2 bungs. And then once that's done, I can put the O2 sensors in and actually bolt these test pipes on. But guys, look at those welds. Absolutely, be absolutely beautiful. All right, guys, I just realized I forgot to touch the camera when I was welding in the O2 bungs. So, have the O2 bungs welded in. I'm letting this one cool down because that one's really hot. But I'm throwing the passenger side on right now. And I actually didn't weld in a bung for the secondary O2. What I just did is I actually welded the, the O2 sensor spacer right to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw this on and bolt it down and then do the same with that side then we're gonna weld it to the car. I'm gonna try to do this one handed and I'm also gonna try to put some gasket sealant on it because my exhaust donuts that's supposed to go on the headers are completely shot and I had an exhaust leak and it was really annoying so I'm gonna try to fix that. I should probably order new ones so. But I'm gonna get like the camera. This is hung up. I'm gonna have to weld that up there. I'm gonna go put the O2s in the other side, then get that hung up, and then we are going to weld that. And then we're gonna have the first start. I just got done with all of the welding under the car. I have my TIG welder out and I was welding under the car and it was, I, I didn't film it just because I couldn't. Like it was, I was rolling around everywhere trying to get all the welds, but everything is welded in. The test pipes are on. Some of you were wondering, I have a MIG welder. Why didn't you use your MIG welder? I was an idiot and I forgot to pick up gas for it. So I didn't have any gas. Or I could have dropped the entire exhaust and welded it on my bench which probably would have took less time and would have been easier, but to me that sounds like more work. I think one of the pipes, I still have an area at the top that I'm gonna need to get on the lift at the shop with the MIG welder, but we'll see. I'm gonna fire this thing up, let's see how it sounds. difference is honestly insane it's I hope the camera picks it up well I have so many clips of the sound before this car so I'll just throw them in but just those cats being out makes such a huge difference I'm gonna clean everything up. Jude was actually right about me taking the secondary cats out because I was seriously thinking about taking both cats out and basically making this thing straight pipe and he was 100% right that I should leave those in because that's honestly really loud. But let's get this car on the ground, let's get everything somewhat cleaned up and then we'll rip over to Jude's and then show him how it sounds. All right guys, I'm on the road, I'm heading to Jude's shop. Uh, and there's a cop right in front of me, so I can't do what I was about to do, but this thing sounds absolutely ridiculous. But like I said, there's a cop right in front of me, so I can't, I can't do what I was about to do. He's, he's right up there. Um, guys, the wailing downshifts on this thing are, well... Let's just say like, oh, and the cop turns, the cop turns, there you go, 9-11.
again, the world's steepest driveway. Let's go see Judy. Let's see if Jude hears us. It's honestly ridiculous. Like, like it's, when this thing's under load, yeah. wow. it's something else. That's sweet. Do it again. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Dude, it's it's so aggressive. Dude, under load, when you're sending I was trying to get them a video the whole time I was behind a cop on the way here. Alright guys, so I guess me and Jude and Brandon, Brandon's here by the way. They're over there in Jude's cayenne. Jude's grandma gave him a sick cayenne. Um, we are going to get rollers, so cut to roller shots now. Dude, look how good this thing looks. Guys, just look at it. Shout out to Brandon and Jude for the, is, is this camera picking up? Oh yeah. Shout out to Brandon and Jude for the unexpected rollers. My car was, or like that edit, whatever that you guys will see in this video. Um, my car is filthy, but it sounds ridiculous. Dude, it, it, it picked up power. I'm not even joking. I didn't expect for it to pick up power because I don't have a tune. Like from six to eight grand, it feels like it pulls way harder. Not not a lot harder, but it feels like it's just not as choked up. And dude, I still have the secondaries in. I think what I'm gonna do is order two Vibrant Performance two and a half inch mufflers, like the one that I have on my E30. Put them on there and then take the second cats out. Because when I get attuned, we're taking the cats out because flames. Like in a four door sedan, in a four door sedan, this is why this car fucks so hard. It looks so good right now. The next day. I've been driving around the car for the past, you know, day or so. And I went on like a morning drive this morning through the back roads of Swickley. Absolutely love the sound of the car. It is amazing, but it just has a bit too much drone for just cruising around. I'm gonna order some Vibrant Performance mufflers, then we're gonna take the secondary cats out, then I'm gonna have some actual mufflers, and then full cat delete. So hopefully that'll have the same sound, or like the same level of loudness when I get on it, but it won't drone because I'll have actual, because I'll actually have mufflers in it. But, but guys, before I close the video out, this is, I'm gonna give you guys a little secret. This is for all my people that stay to the very end of the video. There's gonna be a new build coming to the channel. It might be a car that you guys aren't suspecting. All I'm saying is I'm starting a new series on the channel and we're going to start to buy and sell cars and like flip cars and because that's half of what I do to make money to afford all my cars is I buy and sell cars and I flip them and buy broken ones, then I fix them, then I sell them. I might as well buy some cars for the channel, you know, like do a car every month or so, buy it, show you guys how much money I have in it, show you guys what's all involved with fixing it, and show you guys how much of a profit I'm making on it so that like people out there can do the same and make money because there's money to be made in it and it's actually really not that hard. Maybe next week we're gonna be picking up another car. So stay tuned and if you guys have stayed to the end of the video, and just watch that comment down below i know the secret on that note guys i'm gonna close the video out here as i always say dream so big it's scary peace out and i'll catch you in the next one